dun, 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 dun. No way in the internet. I'm here in the Eastern Cape. It's a Saturday, which means anything that comes to my head happens. Nah, no, we just we just finished walking up from the internet, walking up the hill here. I call it a mountain because I like the perpetrator for tiny stop. Anyway, it's walking the dog and say we are not, you know, me and the doggy. Every morning we take a, you know, one hour, two hour, whatever, hour walk. And right now I'm walking, but I'm taking a break. I'm laying in the I'm laying, <laughs> I'm grounding myself still in the in the ground. And uh listening as I'm walking, uh, you know, I downloaded uh Corey Hokeman being interviewed or being uh, uh Corey Hokeman and uh, Cam Newton having a conversation, let's put it that way. And so I'm listening to that it's like two and a half hours. So I'm listening to that as I walk. And this dog, because see, when I take a, when I stop and take a break, what she does is that she 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 she's been running around. And they said, "Look, I got other places to go." So she tried to get me to go with her. Stop! Get out of here. I'm busy. I'm talk to my peoples. Anyway, uh, so this is Saturday. It was when everything coming on my like, here's I've been thinking, man. This is this is uh, you know the problem. The problem that we have is we don't have strategies. You know. And I'm a strategic kind of thinking kind of person. Sounds like I'm gonna have to do this some other time because no, let me just sit up. Maybe she'll leave me alone if I sit up. Um, it's strategy. Now the problem, the problem that we have, I have people say, oh, no, we gotta fix the system. Oh, we gotta reform the system. Gotta be more fair or just. Um, I'm mean, all kinds of things. They wanna let's put it this way. They wanna tweak the system. Let me let's use that word. They wanna tweak the system. So that the system becomes more advantageous to their points of view. That's, that's, that's most people. I mean, anybody, you say, what would you do different? Then you would have an opinion on what you do, which means that you would tweak something to make that something different and more advantageous to your point of view, right? Now, people don't understand when this system was, however, wherever, wherever however, it, it, it got its traction, became uh, more popular than a bunch of other systems, right? Certain people jumped in there and started to tweak it to their to their liking, to their what, what advantageous to them. I'm talking about, uh, I won't say hundreds, but yeah, thousands, say they thousands, let me just say hundreds of years, right? So we come to this point now, and everybody's used to, oh, it's a system, we can tweak it into, I don't know, we can tweak, tweak it into logic, tweak, tweak it into whatever, you know? Let me just go off right now, because I usually do, I gotta go just for, just for, just for a, a little bit of a second, right? Is it uh, Marx, right? I mean Groucho, not. You know, I think it was Groucho. Groucho Marx. I think he's the one that said, "I don't want to be a part of any club that would have me." That can mean a whole bunch of things. It can mean that he's he's so a, a demented or whatever have you that the club would suffer. It could mean that that he don't want to be any, any club that that would, well, take a demented person. <laughs> or you know, it could mean a bunch of things. Okay, think of it as a, as a, as, a, as a line in a, in a in a poem. Okay, now let's go back to what's happening. So when you when you go to places, you know, if, if, if parties, whatever have you, it's a you say, it's what kind of party is it? That's the first thing you say. You go to the, let, me, let me let me do a personal thing. When I started to go to uh, you know, the shelter, it was called the shelter, not the, not the club shelter, down 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 Huber Street, right? Started going there. It was it was it was a, a membership only club. Because at the time, and this was in the early nineties. At the time, through the eighties into the nineties. Uh, what would happen is uh, black gay men, right, would be so discriminated against that hated that they said, "Oh, well, hey, we'll start our own thing," you know. So they started doing their own thing. Or they, they they started hanging out in clusters that uh, became predominantly black, you know. And so and so that was their dancing. But 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 they wouldn't. But but to keep the riffraff out, and to keep also I say riffraff anything that was that was against what they look to keep others out and to become legitimate in some sort of. Uh, 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 this is a club, therefore we have, we're not, we're not a, 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 it's like a social club, this is not a, a, a club for profit or money, whatever the heck, you know, where, where you can't keep your doors open, right, so therefore the, 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 the club went from, you know, it opened officially at 12 o'clock on a Saturday night, uh, Saturday night, I guess that would be officially Sunday morning, it goes all the way to like 3 in the afternoon on Sunday, you go to the beach, house, whatever, a bunch of other stuff, right, so when I first, uh, Get there, you say, what kind of club is this? Okay, it's a black gay club. But then you go in there, you experience the club, and you understand, yeah, but it is, that's the, let's say that's the vibe, well, that's the dance vibe, you know, and you know, black people, black gay people, I, I shouldn't even do that. I, let me, let me, I take that, reel that back in. 
black people wherever they are, they 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 max it out. Okay, they go they they make it they make it fashionable. Let's put it that way. So so you know what you go you know know what you you're becoming a part. You know what you know you know what your experience you roughly know what your experience is going to be like. Now, if you come to America or if you studied America, you know you should know by this point what your what the experience is. Now, there's only one group. I'm serious. That had the that has the the the, the gumption that has the that has put the fear of God into the uh, forces that, that that keep on fostering this this uh, injustice uh, kind of systems on you, and that is African men who, in their lineage, had to separate from 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 the continent. And wherever, whatever area in the continent they was, because uh, the, the the great divine had, had 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 said, "Look, we got things to do, right? So I gotta yeah, gotta go through this little, you know, this, this baptism through through the my, my, the mighty Atlantic Ocean, right? You get through that, then you gotta do some some hard labor. You know, it's like a you know, you'll be a ward of the state, well, the estate, and then then then, then, then as we keep on going, you'll be a ward of the state. Be like, you know, look, let me put it this way." I told you I was listening to Corey Holcomb uh, uh, being interviewed or being having a conversation with Cam Newton. Now Corey Holcomb is known for for as a comedian. I've seen him, you know, in, in New York, Carolina. But uh, just when I took uh, Grayson there, we had a good time. Grayson had some profound things to say afterwards. Anyway, the point is this: uh, he does a program called Fifty One Fifty. Fifty One Fifty is basically orphans. It's like the Tiffany Haddishes of the world, you know. Well, for two and a half years, I was a Fifty One Fifty in, New, in, in Staten Island, New York. <laughs> Uh, St. Joseph's by the sea. Anyway, the point is, uh, when you have that kind of perspective and you've been through sort of things, you don't want to fix that system. You don't adjust that system. You want to get rid of that system. Since you didn't create it or tweak it along the way, by the time it gets to your little tweak, you're reacting to a tweak, you're reacting to a tweak. It's like the, it's like the ultimate, the the uh, ultimate mystery. Uh, you know, no, it's be a minstrel. A minstrel is imitating somebody who's imitating something else. And then if you keep on expanding it out uh, uh, mathematically, exponentially, then uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So in order to, 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 to re if you really are going to this planet and you're to humanity, like, you know, I'm on the continent of Africa, and Magalisa Robert Sabuke done said, you know, to be African means you have to have humanity. So if you don't, if you're not practicing humanity, then you need to get off the continent. There's other places to go. You know what I'm saying? Okay, back to the point. So the point really is, and I'm looking at all this stuff, I'm looking at all, all the events, I'm saying all we have to do is just stop, not cooperate with their plans, and you go, then you move on. You see? So let me just leave it right there. No, I'm not going to leave it there. I'm sorry. So that's the that's, that's end of that part. Now, y'all can go away. If you want. Just, just go away. I have to say something here about this. I guess the same subject, strategy. I can see their strategy, their tweaking. When I say their tweaking, the, the the forces that are against humanity. For instance, you have this whole thing. Here's what they do. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start like this. There's a you know Nicaragua is Nicaragua, right there in Central America. Now when they when they first wanted to get a shipping lane from the from from the uh, from the west from the west and going going through the Americas, right? They picked Nicaragua, right? But they, they couldn't do it there. Some had something happened they couldn't do there. So they ended up doing it in Panama. Okay? Now the Pan so from the beginning they wanted to do it at, in Nicaragua, right? So if they can get rid of Nicaragua, that's what the whole thing was about. Or they can control Nicaragua, they can build their little canal, a bigger canal more before you know da 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 da. So you could you could do it that way. See this problem, let me just say one I mean meander off again, right? If you really wanted to be smart, you get you get uh, dirigibles and you and make them the new shipping kind of things. But I won't talk about that right now. Okay, so back. So so, so what they did was they tried to get rid of Nicaragua. Then they got to make enemies or, or the enemies, but they got to give you boogeymen. Now so now we have the situation we have so-called Venezuelans criminals, Venezuelan criminals coming and taking over Chicago and whatever have you. But what I'm gonna tell you is that those are not Venezuelan Venezuelans. Yeah, they are criminals. They're criminals to the state. They don't like Venezuela. That's why they're here doing the bidding of the forces that be. Because you know, when I first started traveling, uh, this is in the nineties, well, in the eighties. Uh, then there was a whole thing where you could uh, get an airplane flight, say to Argentina. 
Oh, let me see. Let me stay stay with to, to Venezuela, right? Because there's business. America had business in Venezuela, right? And they had well, they, they would they would give you a free flight if you, if they could use your a lot your uh, what do you call that the allotment for your uh, for your baggage allotment, right? So you can get a free flight there. Then when 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 they had when Chavez took over whoever and they and they and they, uh, and they had this break with Venezuela, that stopped. And they started to co go after Venezuela, like they go after a lot of people, right? So when they say Venezuelans are coming up here and do whatever, you got in your mind Venezuelans, oh that's the enemy that they've been talking about for years. Venice, enemy, enemy. Those people that's coming up, they're not Venezuelans. If you was a Venezuelan, you'd be in Venezuela trying to change your system. If you're not in Venezuela changing your system, why are you someplace else? If you're not in Nigeria changing your system, why are you? In other words, if you come to here, you're still supposed to be doing the same energy that you was there. In other words, you can't. You come to here to stop them from doing to making conditions that make you leave there. If you are true, whatever you say you are, it doesn't matter what you say you are. If you if you look, I'm from the. Okay. Let me just stop it. Let me let me leave that alone. My point. This is a this is a Saturday tea tirade. So I guess I done tirated. Let me leave it like that. But but I'm surely you understand what I'm saying. They always label stuff and they got you. They they, they tweak it by, by by getting into your head. They tweak it by getting into into your entertainment, into your into whatever. And then when people tell the truth, they they, they have to tirade. <laughs> and then you want to listen to a tirader because they they suddenly just tweak and tweak and tweak. They make you want to be a, a a celebrity they make you want to be da 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 then when you cut the problem then you then then they control you they're gonna start paying you I mean, then you gotta you, you you know you gotta pay the piper if you get paid then you gotta pay the piper okay so you understand so so so, so unless until we get out of that situation of 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 being tweaked things gonna remain the way you are okay talk to you later.